Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, and today I'm going to record a few more things through the Fostex Model 450 recording mixer. I made a video previously where I recorded drums using the Fostex 450's built-in preamps, so you might want to check out that video as well as the entire playlist of Fostex 450 videos that I've made if you want to go down the Fostex 450 rabbit hole with me. I'm using the built-in preamps on the Fostex Model 450 along with the Echo Audio Fire 8 that I used in the setup video and the last video where I did summing. So it's that setup. If you want to see the specifics of the entire setup, go check out that video. I'll put a link to that and the Fostex 450 playlist at the end of this video and in the video description. This is a 1977 Alvarez Model 5014. And it's old, and I like it. It sounds really good. I find that this triple O size fits in a mix really, really well. To record it though, I'm gonna to have to use a microphone as well as the preamp. You can't record the acoustic guitar with just a preamp. So to record the 77 Alvarez with the preamp in the Model 450, I'm gonna use an Aventone CK7. This is a multi-pattern condenser microphone. And luckily the Fostex 450 does have phantom power, so we can power this beautiful condenser mic. This is an FET condenser mic, and I believe it has a transformer as well. So we'll see what a warm sounding condenser mic sounds like with the Fostex Model 450 preamps. Now I'm going to test out the Fostex Model 450 preamps on a bass guitar. In this case, it's this beautiful 1972 Greco JB380. This has the original Maxon pickups and it's kind of a mellow sounding bass. So I'm going to use a little bit of the EQ on the 450 to add a little bit of high end to this, about 700, and then to pull out some low mids around 300 because this bass can get kind of tubby sounding. Might as well use the 450's EQ. I guess I could record this straight into one of the line inputs and it would work, but I have a Countryman DI that sounds really good for bass. This is a really good sounding DI. It needs phantom power, but the 450 again has phantom power. So we should be all set to see what bass sounds like when you're using a DI and the Model 450's preamps.
So in my honest opinion, the Fostex Model 450 sounds pretty good. I mean, it's not the most high-end console in the world or anything, but this thing is 40 years old and everything on it still works. So I guess I'd say for the money, I'm a pretty big fan of the Fostex Model 450. It has a lot of functions and features. It's pretty lightweight, fairly small for what it does, and you can buy these just really cheap. This is one of the least expensive mixers that was made for recording that you can find on the used market. So I hope you found this video informative and at least somewhat entertaining. I really appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel if you have not done so already. And I hope each and every one of you out there is an excellent and wonderful day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching.